Well, welcome back. Right now we have tech expert Andrea Smith with us today to talk us through the 3G shutdown, what we need to know, how concerned we need to be, how providers are planning for it, and much more. Andrea, thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So what do we need to know about this 3G shutdown in particular? Well, you need to know that technology is just constantly evolving. I mean, we used to listen to music on cassette and then CDs, and now many of us stream music and watch videos right on our phones. Cellular networks are evolving too, and 15 years after that first iPhone 3G came out, well, those older 3G networks can't support the way we use our phones today. So by turning off those networks, cell phone companies can use that bandwidth for newer technologies like 5G that provide greater capacity and faster speed. Oh, it sounds so dramatic when we talk about a 3G shutdown, but really 5G, there's some important differences here. If someone isn't exactly sure what the differences are and why 5G is so much better, kind of walk us through that. Yeah, so 5G can run between 10 and 100 times faster than a typical 4G connection. So you are going to see much faster downloads. You know, wireless companies are investing big in building out their 5G networks. In fact, T-Mobile was the first wireless company in the U.S. to launch 5G nationwide. And thanks to their merger with Sprint, they've got the largest, fastest, and most reliable 5G network, according to the latest independent benchmark. So you're just going to see really much better, greater capacity, faster speed with 5G. And is there anything that we need to do in particular? It seems that our devices just seem to know where they need to connect, what they need to do, especially with this 3G, 5G issue. But is there anything we need to prepare for? Yes. So if you've got a 3G phone, most providers are offering free phones, free replacement phones for those older 3G devices. But I would really recommend upgrading to a 5G phone if you can to really take full advantage of the faster 5G network and also look at your current plan. I mean, if you're on a limited data plan and you want to stream music and videos, you're going to need a new plan. And some providers have plans with amazing built-in benefits. For example, T-Mobile subscribers get free international data roaming. Many plans include Netflix, in-flight in -flight Wi-Fi with streaming, and so much more. And I know there's been concern that 5G may interfere with other big technologies. What is your take on that? Yeah, I mean, there were news stories. I've read them. Um, I really don't think it's anything for consumers to be concerned about right now. The wireless and aviation industries are working together to make sure that there are no safety issues. And where can we find more information, especially if someone needs to upgrade, they need to be concerned about getting a new device, maybe even a new phone if they're still with 3G. What can we do and where can we find more information about this? That is a great question because everyone needs to do their research. They need to go to the carriers in their area. They need to look at the new phones, look at the new plans, look at 3G as an opportunity to get newer technology and faster speed. So check out the plans, see what's right for you because you really might be surprised at how much has changed in the last 15 years. Well, thank you so much, Andrea Smith, tech expert, for joining us today. Always appreciate your advice and how you simply break down these bigger topics for us. Thank you for your time today. We're going to take a break and get back right after this.